Yeah. All right, hey guys, we're here at GameStorm for our first uh, Friday night live stream, uh, playing some standard tonight. Um, we have, sorry, gotta pull this up. We have uh, Sean McCary on Naya Angels versus Austin Benedetti on Death and Taxes. So, so yeah. this is uh, interesting. Deaths. Very interesting to start. Yeah. Um, if you want to let them know that we, they could start, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a rather interesting match, I think. Um, so once we get this door closed over here, <laughs> I'll uh, go more into the depth of this Death and Taxes deck. Yeah, uh, you're gonna is, need to explain this one. Yeah. So it is. It is my deck. Um, I let. Austin and I kind of brewed it, um, and basically, I can kind of show you a few cards. Uh, so basically, one of the key cards is Follow Thran, which I need to update here. Um, so Follow Thran, which is destroy all lands, each player, then the second and third mode are each player returns two lands from their graveyard to the battlefield, but you get around that by playing things like Remorseful Cleric and uh, Kaya, the Planeswalker, to just exile their graveyards. Um, also, another key card to this is Smothering Tide, because you play this, you get a treasure, and then on turn, like you play this on turn four, your opponent doesn't pay two, you get a treasure, and then you sack that treasure, and then play that on turn five, play the Follow Thran on turn five, and then you exile their graveyard so they won't get their lands back. This is going to be very fun. <laughs> yeah. This deck is crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, like, there's, like, we have a Remorseful Cleric, which is this card, and it's, uh, Sacrifice to Exile cards from target opponent player's graveyard, so you just target your opponent, and then you're able to just keep going, and you get to bring lands back, and your opponent doesn't, so that's, that's the, uh... You get to play fun. Magic, and your opponent does not. Yes. And that's gonna be very relevant here, since, uh, Tron's gonna need all his mana playing Angels. Right. We'll see what Austin does here, uh, and we'll also see what uh, Sean does here. I mean, he's on like a Night Angels deck that uh, is probably similar to his Jeskai Angels deck that we saw before. Yeah. That hand does not look very good. It does not. Is that six lands and Lenore Elves? And Rhythm of the Wild. He's got five lands, oh, okay. Rhythm, Lenore. Looks like Austin's going to mulling in the hand. I did not see what it was. He was land short. Okay. It looks like Sean's staying. Huh. Is mm -hmm. there another card in there that I missed? Maybe. He's got Rhythm of the Wild land we're off lands. Okay. Maybe he's thinking Austin's on mono blue. Maybe. Because that's what Austin always plays. Yeah, but he is not on mono blue tonight. No, he is not. And we have... Anything but. Just a side note, we do have like the original like creator of the the first version of this deck here, Nick Foscaris. Hello. Yeah, he's standing here right behind us. Yeah, he's going to buy this round. So he's running know. Good win, man. Good win. Yeah. <laughs> it was... Uh, this, hand looks, battle. this hand looks better for Austin, but yeah. it does look really land heavy. Uh, in this kind of match, he's okay. I mean, uh, is that a smothering tithe on top? It was a white card. I know that. And there's not a lot of like. Oh, it's not a smothering tithe. Obviously, not. <laughs> he bottomed it that quick. Well, luckily, we can go shock elf. Luckily, Sean's hand is pretty threat light for Austin having yeah. a very land heavy hand. Uh, he drew a Groove Spellbreaker. That's a big one. That's a big, big one, one, yeah. Yep. Let's see. Oh, there's... Yeah, this deck plays three um, blue sources. For um, Discovery Dispersal? Yeah, just for the Dispersal. Uh, it plays one... Oh, uh, now he drew a really... Uh, this game could get out of hand quick now. Uh, very. Very quickly. He's going to go Spellbreaker, just get in for four. Yeah. Yep. Gets the double riot. Yeah, Sean drew really well <laughs> these first two turns. It's pretty pretty brutal. He yeah, Austin, Austin needs is, something. Uh, yeah, that's true. a treasure map, yeah. which good addition to this deck. It is. It's, what do you think of it, Nick? Treasure map. I, I yeah. love it. I wish it wasn't you know nine hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, he does have this cast down, and I think you cast down this spellbreaker now yeah, when you can. Absolutely, especially. With what we know is coming next, that was right. a good play. Is Austin down four? Yeah, Austin's at sixteen. Oh, he took four from the spellbreaker, and there's Aurelia. Yeah, and Austin's like that's a pretty good pull. Well, yeah. hopefully um, Austin here can. Uh, wow. Big big hit. Four. Six, seven. Yeah. Austin's at nine. 
Austin Drew Cry, the Cranarium. It's, uh, I mean, it cleans up the elf, but. That's it. Yeah, nothing else. He's still taking four. He just kind of forced to do it, though. Um, yeah, I mean, you are, because otherwise you're 100% taking lethal. Yeah. Looks like he's not going to, though. No, he's going to What is he going to look for? Um, it's a remorseful cleric and a treasure map. Yep. Yeah. I know because treasure map's the only foil in this deck. <laughs> I didn't have any regular non-foils. So you had to make the already expensive card double the price. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Just to grind Nick's gears back here. He pitched both of them, and what did he draw? A uh, Basilica Bell Hunt? It's not a bad draw, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, he... it's not really going to get him out. No. He's going to treasure map and... Four, five, six, seven. Sean I Drew guess he's cruel harpooner. I guess. Oh yeah, no, he's dead. This game's over. Give it haste. Yeah. And go. Boop. Chandra really hot for having a bad hand to start. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Yep. That was quick. Oh, that was real quick. Yep. So we're gonna get a look here at the sideboards. So what? You wanna read those sideboards off for me? Yeah, Sean's got Tristani Discordant, two Vivian Reed, two Carnage Tyrant, three Tiktali Honor Guard, three Deafening Clarion, four Cinder Vines. Um, awesome with three Duress, a Sorcerer Spyglass, Argos Bloodfast, Golden Demise, two Izarath, one Karn, one Vraska's Contempt, a Frexerian Scriptures, and a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants, a Settle the Wreckage, a Lyra Dawnbringer, and an Earthreal Absolution. Yeah, so like uh, Austin's sideboard, I, I only know because I made this sideboard. It's a bunch of just, like, catch-all cards because you're able to just, like, destroy your opponent's lands. Well, you know, you hope to yeah. destroy your opponent's lands to where you're going to be able to just sit there and wait out till you can draw the card that right. answers whatever they have. Um, I So in this matchup, I definitely think Scriptures is going to come in. Mm -hmm. um, he needs it. Settle, probably. Probably settle. Lyra, for sure. Settle's um, kind of a... It's bad, though, with Gruel Spellbreaker, but it's still something he needs right. for removal. Um, yeah, but I definitely think Scripture's coming in. Probably the third Contempt, because he plays two Contempt maybe. Yeah, um, I would say that, too. I could see... Izarath has Death Touch, right? Yes, it does. So I could see Izarath coming in, too. Um, possibly... No, Golden Demise doesn't seem very good here. Um, I think he probably takes Cry out of the main. Yeah, Cry's not going to hit much here. Yeah, you do have one Kaya's Wrath in the main as well. Uh, what do you think from Shaw? Uh, Cinder Vines. It's the only thing I see that's relevant here. Honestly, um, maybe Vivian. So based on based on what Sean saw, I think Cinder Vines is a good option for him. But knowing the deck, I think Cinder Vines isn't a great option. Uh, the deck is actually a lot cre more creature heavy than most people think it would be. True, but I, I mean, for what Sean saw, that's the only thing I could see him bringing in I this think game. Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant comes think in. So? Do you think he gets get greedy and brings the Tyrant? Yeah. I mean, he could bring in... Based on what he saw from Austin, he looks like just like a Esper Control deck, maybe. Um, something a little bit slower, maybe something that can't really deal with Carnage Tyrant. Right. Um, I'm actually surprised Austin didn't try to play out that um, Hollowed Fountain, just to be like, look at this, I'm on Esper. Yeah, uh, try and throw him off a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, like, maybe Tristani. That doesn't seem awful, but um, I don't think he's going to bring in the Vivian Reeds. He doesn't need Currently. Vivian. He doesn't need Honor Guard here. Um, Clarion. Cinder Vines does suck. Again, like it's pretty good against this deck. That it, against Death in Texas because like, you're. But then again, Austin is probably currently going to bring out. Um, he's going to bring out probably like one or two Bell Haunts. Well, we could see that Austin already boarded in the Scriptures and the, the Settle, and then probably the Lyra was the third card. Um, and then, but it looks like he's. What I think he probably was going to do because I told him like the, the way I boarded with this deck is whenever I play against anything that's not control, I board out one of the Fall of Thrains and one of the Smothering Tides. Yeah, that makes sense too. Uh, just because like you can't reliably hit it against um, like aggro decks or like mid-rangey decks. Um, mid-range it's fine sometimes but not all the time. So, I mean, we'll see. Um, I don't really know what he took out. Yeah, I didn't get a look. Yeah, maybe it'll fade back into the regular game. You can see Shaw, probably two Cinder Vine, maybe he does bring in the two Carnage Tyrants. We'll see. Cinder Vines is for sure in his deck now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some number of them. 
Yeah, like, so Cinderbrand is a pretty good card uh, because of this destroy target artifact or enchantment, um, which kind of destroys scriptures, destroys. Yeah. You know, it destroys a lot of things in this deck. Um, plus, like, the, the, the reason why Sean's probably bringing it in currently is because of this top portion, which is whenever opponent casts a non-creature spell, Cinderbrand deals one damage to that player. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, though, like I, I don't think he realizes the relevance of that bottom ability currently, uh, but he will. Oh, yeah, that, you know. that, that's super, super good here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hope we get to see a little bit more from Austin here, because this deck is really sweet. Yeah. I mean, if not, we'll uh, get Nick on with his uh, sweet mono black deck later. Yeah, absolutely. For this next round. Yes. Mono Black Aggro is getting real good on uh, Arena, man. Oh, yeah? It's making the rounds. I see a lot of that. I see a lot of Jun Warriors. Those two decks are uh, getting prevalent. I gotta play more Arena. Arena's it's, it's fun, man. I mean, if you really want to test, though, I would definitely just recommend MTGO, especially since the cards are getting way cheaper now. Mm-hmm. Sean Bort, what does he got there? He kept a, it's a heavy hand, like a lot of, yeah, no mana a, acceleration, just a lot of high cost. And he did board in the Vivians, unless he main boards some. Wow. Oh, so we're just going to throw a Takali Arnagar, that's pretty nice. good. Yeah, that plays That'll the, stop the riot. It plays the main, the only problem is that playing the Takali Arnagar, a lot of your other stuff does get shut off. Right. Like, you play Forbidding Spirit, um, what else is played? There's another ETB effect that I can't think of right now. Is he running Chupacabras? No. No. Uh, so here we're probably going to see Kaya. Kaya yeah. We could see this Kaya get deployed. Kaya and now, just yeah. minus and exile. Get rid of the... Yeah, get rid of the elf. Come on, Austin. You know what to do. Yeah, so play it, Austin. Play the Kaya, minus, get rid of the elf. He's slow, reading it. Slow Sean down return. <laughs> just do it. Get in for one. He's not doing it. Nope. That would have been the play here. No, he's just going to play treasure map instead. I mean, he's, he's playing conservative. I would have... If I'd I were take Austin, Sean off his mana immediately yeah. here. There's too many big threats in Sean. Yeah, in especially Sean's if you could just, like, slam a Lyra. Yeah, or yeah, an Aurelia, and now an Aurelia, which, which you just, just drew. Yep. Right, like... Or Shalai, like, is that that's a Shalai in his hand, hand yeah. He's got a lot of good options yeah. right here ahead of curve. Um, his yeah, hand's loaded. Yeah, this isn't very good for... Yeah. Yep. yep. Fly, go ahead. Yeah, um, you should have uh, got rid of that elf, but that's okay. We're gonna go New deck. Scry. Okay, Whatever see. it was, he left it on top. Yeah, just draw that card. Uh, that is Tithe Taker? Yes. Tithe Taker, please. I mean, shocking, I am shocking that in. What, what does he have to play? I, I don't. I didn't see the rest of the hand. There's nothing before. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, Sarah for the Sarah scales. Sarah's. Okay, that's yep, good. That's, that's a good one here. I, I think that's his favorite card in this deck when we're talking about it. Cards really yeah. good. It's really good. Now Sean just drew a Lyra too. That is not good. No, because he, he's going to slam that now. I would assume. I would assume so too. Um, because that just pumps that. Sean dry. is playing that card that gives his whole team indestructible as well. Um, and counters. I forgot the name of the card. Unbreakable formation. That is it. Yep. Yes. That there's, is... there's two that make indestructible. There's that and make a stand. He's got unbreakable formation in here. Here yeah. comes Lyra. Yep. That's and rough. And that makes that a five, four five. So yeah. You're taking it, and you, he's gonna gain life. Yeah. You just don't block. No. This. Wait. Why? Yeah. Don't so, block. No blocks. Yeah. Keep your death touch up for next turn. You can give Seraph death touch, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can give it death touch or vigilance. And then you'll get yourself some spirits. You gotta try and stop the bleeding. Oh, oh Kaya's that, rat is just, huge. You need to deploy that right now. Yeah, smash it. Get your two spirits, just yeah. clear this board. Come on, Austin. You know what to do. Sean does not have another land in hand. It doesn't look like... Uh, he just put it at the front of the deck, so it looks like... Or the front of the hand. It looks like he's gonna... He's got to. Got to. Gain yep. some life. Yeah, you don't want to attack yeah, first. Yeah. That, that's the right play. Yep. Game two. Get yourself two spirits. Make a new game of it now. Does he not have land five? He does not. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Sean doesn't have land five either, but he does have like a really stuff, which... That's okay. 
Yeah, you could slog through that. Still didn't get land five. So there's Aurelia. It's kind of a win for you right now. Aurelia's Austin. pizza. I could go for some pizza. And there's a Seraph. That, that was really good draw. Yeah. Just play another Seraph. Yeah, he was showing you he didn't have any lands. Yeah, mm -hmm. neither does Austin, though, so. Well, oh, there's, there's, there's five. Yeah, he'll shock this one. Um, I assume. Play his Vivian. Probably blow up Seraph. That would be what I'd do, at least. I guess, yeah. I mean, I mean, he could go Girl Chamber Guardian and adapt it if he chooses to. That is also a thing, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's his only other play right now. It's that or Vivian. He's got yeah. two Vivians in hand. Yeah, we're going to see more. Hopefully, he gets the game gets to keep going a little bit, though. Yeah, because this is going to be a good slog. Yep, there's the shock. He's playing Vivian. Is he? I'm assuming, unless he goes Grow Chamber, which, I mean, you could do that. He, he could play Grow Chamber. No, he's going no, Vivian. He's going Vivian. He's going to shoot down Seraph. Oh, oh, okay. Either that or Treasure Map. Yeah. There's the Vivian. What would, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I'll shoot it down. going to go ahead and get two more uh, Spirits. I don't even know if I have two more Spirits out there. You do. Oh, I have three more. Cool. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and beat for four. Just jump, yeah. How big is it really? Is it four? It's a four five right now. Okay, four five right. Four right. five with vigilance and trample. Yeah, that's. Wait, why? Yeah, you could just take the four and not worry. There about are. It. The, do they realize it has trample, right? Uh, apparently, he did not realize it. He's still not getting lands. You oh, oh he got a field. Okay, that's good. He needs to get, uh, I don't know. What's the, what's the dude he can do discovery, dispersal, I mean, he and play Kaya. Vi he can kill this Vivian. Yeah, he can. Kaya. Mm. Yeah, he's got a minus. He's plus and gaining some life, right? What did uh, he choose? Yeah. So I know he chose Shalai and what else was over there? Lyra. Shalai and Lyra. So Austin gained two life there? Yeah, Austin should be at 15. Yes. Because he did take three damage, from that yeah. trample damage, and I don't think they realize that. Yeah, because he exiled the two things. It's a nice draw. It's a cruel spellbreaker. So I'm I'm curious as to why Austin didn't attack and kill the Vivian last turn. Yeah, he probably should. Have. With Sean, I mean, yeah, with Sean being tapped out. There's no point in blocking the Aurelia. So. Yeah, that or even just like deploy that, um, like that plus deploy the. Um, yeah, harpooner. That's real good here. Yeah. Where's it going? I think he pointed right at uh, Austin. He's too worried about the uh, Kaya. Well, he did. Nope. He went at Austin. No, nope, Kaya. Okay. Okay. Sure. Austin's still at 15. What else? Know. What can he draw to get out of this now? You guys know this deck. I mean, uh, scripture. Saddle the wreckage would be pretty settle huge. Saddle the wreckage, but we de we saw that grill spellbreaker, so I don't know how relevant that's going to be. We're going to see him flip this treasure map on the upkeep. Whatever it was, he left it on top. Uh, so we're going to see this flip. We got three treasures. There's no more Kaya's rats. That was. It's just the one in the deck. Nothing else. Oh, they both have like half the. Oh, look at that! Those are all three different arts. <laughs> I didn't do that on. Right, what's this card you're keeping up top? It's subtle. Which that spellbreaker is going to make Austin cry. Yes, yes, it will. The only hope Austin would have is that Sean doesn't play that and goes Grow Chamber Guardian to build this field. Right.
Yeah, you're just passing your turn. If that's what you're on, you're just going to... What did he exile? Land, land where else was part of it, right? Yes, land where else was part of it. I mean, he Sean can double spell both of them, or he could just grow Chamber Guardian and then adapt. There's a Knight of Autumn, a Cinder Vines, and a grow Chamber Guardian there. I take the Cinder Vines. He can't take Cinder Vines. Oh, yeah, so he's got to take Grow Chamber Guardian or the Land or the Knight of Autumn. Dude, I really like this deck Sean's playing. Yeah. Oh, it's spicy. It's, it, it's good. Oh. And Austin Ouch. realizes he's just like, oh, no. Ouch. Sean played it correctly. Three. Yeah, this is a big hit. You can't settle, bud. No, you no. can't. It doesn't work. He has X proof, brother. Oh, so we're just like, oh, man. Well, now you know. So that's four, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, Austin's at seven. seven. Well, no, because some of that went at Kaya. I assume four of it? Yeah, I think he said Spellbreaker, Kaya. These two came at him. The Cruel Harpooner and Aurelia. All right, so what else we got, guys? Well, we're going to sack to draw, get a treasure, um, and he has no outs. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just... Austin has no outs in the deck. Um, Other than um, that, that Lyra could gain him some life. That is a thing, yeah. Sean don't have any... Well, Sean could just shoot it down with Vivian. Vivian just might... I mean, you, got, you have to make him do it, right? Absolutely. Honestly, I just think if Austin... I don't know if Austin killing the Land of Elf early would I'd have like done I'd like to see anything. him also play this Tithe Taker. Yeah, that'd be good. So he is a blocker for this um, Cruel Harpooner, at the very least. If Austin kills that Land of Elf early in the game, this so, game would have been slogging So if more. Austin plays this Tithe Taker, um, he will not die to oh yeah he wouldn't die to the minus of Vivian right well that was a pretty good the, well, there's a Vraska's attempt some land you fish the land take the Vraska's attempt but Austin just dies to this minus now yeah um yeah I, I he definitely needed to play the tithe taker there by playing the tithe taker he doesn't die to a minus correct and ooh uh -huh. Let's plus our whole team up, add insult to injury here, and then blow up Lillian and just end the game. Yep, yep that's it. GG. <laughs> well, that was rather unfortunate for Austin there. Yeah. yeah. I think if, uh, again, if he kills the Lanowar Elf early in the game, um, we'd still be playing right now because it took a little while for Sean to find his lands to cast all those big spells. Right. So you always got to respect the mana dorks. Especially in big mana decks like that. Yeah. So. I guess, uh, yeah, I don't, like, that was that was rough, but. Yeah. Um, definitely some things that Austin could have done to play it a little bit better, but, mm -hmm. you know, what can you do? Yeah. Also, this is like the first night of that deck, right? Uh, Correct. No, this, well, we've, we've had it built for about two weeks. The first time it's getting... To get out there and play it, so yeah. and Austin For has Austin playing it. Yes, right. I've played it twice. Now Austin obviously doesn't hasn't played against a lot of Gruel Spellbreakers to know what it does. Yeah, and I made that mistake once playing against my brother as well, where I tried to settle when I was playing Bant Midrange, and yeah, I basically got the middle finger for that. So I feel I, 